Welcome back to the Mr. Sweaty Hour. Uh, been working on the Music Master again. It's June 26th, Saturday. Anyway, let's have a look, see how far she's come. Da, da, da. I'm sorry if my microphone's a little too loud. Here it is. And it's starting to get that showroom shine on it. I still have a little bit of uh, touching up to do along the edges here. As you can see, there's a little bit of sand through right there. Some surface imperfections that I need to get. But that's about it. And the camera makes it look a lot worse than it really is. Um, let's see if I can catch what kind of surface is going on here. Basically, as you can see, it's starting to look a little glossy and a little bit more like an actual refinished guitar. Uh, paint in the neck here, can't really help that. Other than that, she's looking pretty good. Um, here's the back of it. What the back looks like. So it's almost ready for clear coat. And the sides and the bottom. I found out though, do not stick these things on those rubber tipped guitar stands. When you do that, it uh, causes problems. Anyway. Just an update to let you see what's been going on with the Music Master project. <laughs> making a pick guard for the 71 Music Master. I had a bit of a change of plans. We're not doing a Kurt Master. We're doing sort of a super hot rod or at rod sort of guitar. What I'm using is Tap Plastics uh, orange acrylic. You can kind of see the color from the edges. Um, it's basically uh, sort of like plexiglass type material and I'm just what I did was I took my 66 Mustang pick guard and control plate off and traced it out I'm going to do sort of like Kurt Cobain's Farrington guitar, have it all be one piece. Um, in bridge position of it, I'm going to have a, a custom home-built single coil, and in the neck, I'm actually going to have a, a pickup that's on another project guitar. It's another single coil. This thing's going to be kind of a screamer, rat rod sort of music master. There, we're back again with the music master um, rebuild project. This is the 71 Fender Music Master. I have some old, old, old clips of me finishing this thing that I'm probably stuck at the beginning of the video, but anyway, now the pick guard's almost taking shape. I've got a little bit to remove around there and some to remove around the bridge. It's a little tricky in these two, in this particular area because I'm trying to form fit it around the bridge. It's a little further forward than a Mustang trim is, so I kind of have to cut my own hole a little deeper. Um, I'm working on the neck slot currently where the neck joins the body. It's almost got a nice perfect fit. Um, yeah, and then after I get all this shaped out, then I'm going to bevel the edges and drill the holes for pickups, controls, and all that. And then we'll have a fully functional... So now we've got the pick guard pretty much done and roughed out. I'm going to probably clean this up with power tools, but right now I'm kind of liking how it looks without pickup covers anyway, so since it is a rat rod. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going to be wiring this thing up. Um, we have a very basic wiring setup. Basically both pickups go into a pickup selector switch. These lugs here, each one on the outside, are for the pickups. The center one goes to the volume pot, and then the center lug on the volume pot goes to the output jack positive terminal right here. And then this one goes to the negative terminal, which solders to the pot and to the ground lug on the uh, switch. That way then I have a nice Faraday cage to keep all the hum down which with two single coils is pretty essential. And we are back again with this thing fully assembled. In the neck position we have a Washburn MG45 bridge position single coil. In the bridge we have my uh, Neodymium Magnet equipped Harmony single coil that I pieced together. And then I have three-way switch to switch between pickups. Mill position is kind of an interesting out-of-phase 
forward polarity kind of position that both cuts the hum but at the same time kind of gives it kind of a halfway between a regular in phase and out of phase sound. Forward gives me the neck pickup, back here gives me the, the bridge. All the way I have a volume knob, no treble bypass, and then just the output. Very straightforward. Music Master, or uh, actually Bronco Vista Series bridge on it, with through body stringing. Four bolt neck, um, sonic blue paint job, which is actually done with Krylon paint. Uh, tune, tune pretty much, pretty much like a Music Master with a bridge pickup added. I may eventually add some switches here, but I don't know yet. I kind of like the rat rod straightforwardness of this setup. It squeals a little because I need to whack pop, wax pot this, but you know, this is kind of what sounds like the story. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 